One, go. All right, all right, all right. Match number 10 underway. Sandstorm period. Five of six teams have crossed the half line. And now the sixth one does. So points all around for that sandstorm period. The sandstorm has abated. The screen has been raised. Full visibility for all the drivers now. Early advantage going to the Red Alliance, but only by a few points. It's pretty close. Red Alliance with two hatch panels working on a third one. Some defense being played, but they are able to score that third one. The Forest team for Red playing defense against the Blue teams. Westside Boiler Invasion trying to play some defense against the Red teams. About 80 seconds remaining, slight advantage for the Blue Alliance, but two points really doesn't mean much here in the early going of this match. Another score by the Blue Alliance. They put a cargo ball in that cargo ship. Redbird Robotics coming up with another cargo ball for that ship. Now we go down under a minute remaining. Tied up here at 48. Team still working on the rocket ships and the cargo ships as well. Each alliance doing seem to be doing both. We're coming down to about half a minute to go. Nobody really with a full rocket ship. Doesn't look like either one of them is gonna get that ranking point in this match. About 20 points remaining now, or 20 seconds remaining. Redbird Robotics already trying to get to level three, and they do for the Blue Alliance with 10 seconds now. Oh, but they fall over. Tough break. They're down to level one with five seconds to go. Two seconds, one. So a rare match here at IRI where it doesn't look like we're going to have any additional ranking points for either completed rocket ships or hab climbs. Let's wait on the referees to give us an official score. We got a thumbs up. Here comes the official score for match number 10. It's going to be a close match. It looks like the Blue Alliance takes it. They take it by a score of 72 to 68, just four points. Winning, and they get two ranking points for the win.